let's get into the first topic understanding what really marketing mix is well it is a combination of the product offerings used to reach a target market for the organization as in it is a mix of the controllable marketing variables that is the product the price place and promotion that best meets the needs of the targeted customers all the four elements that is the product price promotion and place are co-equal interdependent and essential for the marketing mix and the significance of marketing mix lies in the proper blend or mixing of all the four variables having said that let's look into each of the four p's into greater detail starting with the first p that is the product what really is a product a product is seen as an item that satisfied what a consumer actually demands it is a tangible good or an intangible service tangible products are those that have an independent physical existence product is subject to a life cycle including a growth phase followed by a maturity and finally an eventual period of decline as the sales fall we will talk about the product life cycle in much detail in the further sessions for now marketers must be careful and do research on how long the life cycle of the product that they are marketing is likely to be and focus that their attention on different challenges that arises as the product moves across the life cycle the marketer must also consider the product mix that is expanding the current product mix by increasing a certain products line depth or increasing the number of product lines marketers should consider how to position the product how to exploit the brand how to exploit the company's resources and how to configure the product mix so that each product complements the other the marketer must also consider product development strategies the second p here is the pricing what really pricing is the amount a customer pays for the product is called as its price price is very important as that is the key determinant in the company's profit and hence its survival adjusting the price has a profound impact on the marketing strategy and depending on the price elasticity of the product often it will affect the demand and the sales for the particular product marketer should also set a price that complements the other elements of the marketing mix when setting a price he must be aware of the customer's perceived value of the particular product the three basic pricing strategies are market skimming pricing market penetration pricing and neutral pricing all of which we shall discuss in much detail later the reference value that is where the consumer refers to the price of competing products and the differential value the consumer's view of this product's attributes versus the attributes of other products must also be taken care of while coming up with a pricing strategy the third p being the promotion all the methods of communication that the marketer may use to provide information to different parties about the product is called as promotion it comprises elements such as advertising public relations personal selling sales promotion etc advertising covers any communication that is paid for in cinemas commercials radios internet advertisements billboards print media etc whereas public relation is the communication which is not directly paid for and includes press releases sponsorship deals exhibitions conferences seminars trade fairs and events word of mouth is an apparently informal communication about the product by ordinary individuals satisfied customers or people specifically engage to create word of mouth momentum sales staff often plays an important role in the word of mouth and public relations the final p being the place also called as a distribution p this refers to providing the product at a place which is convenient for the customers or the consumers to access various strategies such as intensive distribution selective distribution exclusive distribution and franchising can be used by the marketer to complement the other aspects of the marketing mix having said that let's once look at all the four p and its key sub elements to summarize it while the first p that is the product 
has the major sub elements which has to be taken care of is product design, product positioning, product name and branding, packaging and labeling, breadth and depth of product line, level and type of customer service, product warranty, new product development process and product life cycle strategies. The second P price, its key sub elements being manufacturer, wholesaler and retailer selling prices, the terms and conditions of selling, the bidding tactics, the discount policies, the new product pricing which is skimming or penetration or the neutral pricing. The third P being the promotion. Its key sub elements are advertisements, sale force policies, direct marketing which could include mail, catalog, etc. Public relations, price promotions for the consumers and for the producers separately and trade shows and events. And finally the last P that is the place also called as the distribution channel basically talks about the direct versus the indirect channels, channel length, channel breadth being exclusive, inclusive or selective, the franchising policies and the policies to ensure channel coordination and control.